Hey guys, it is Freshly Squeezed here, and today I'm going to be doing another stuff vlog, and I'm doing a Christmas special, because Christmas is in literally three days, because I'm recording this on the 22nd, hopefully it gets uploaded today. So yeah guys, I'm very excited, this is going to be an action-packed video full of Christmas themed stuff, including a blind candy cane taste test. A uh, Christmas tag, um, tasting Buddy the Elf spaghetti with maple syrup on it, and also going to be reviewing um, Elf the movie. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to be doing is um, a blind taste test of some candy canes. I bought two packs at the store yesterday. I got this Hawaiian Punch pack and Jelly Belly pack. There's three flavors in each. So um, I'm going to be guessing the flavors. The flavors are um, watermelon, tutti frutti, blueberry for the Jelly Belly, and then there's Fruit Punch, Lemon Berry, and Polar Blast. So, yeah, guys, let's get into this. I'm gonna get my blindfold on, and yeah. Okay, guys, so I have my blindfold on, and I have one of each of the candy canes out of the package. So I have six candy canes here, and I'm gonna be randomly picking ones because I can't see. So, I'm gonna take one. Let's do one in the middle, so this one I can't see at all even when I open my eyes this blindfold is really tight so yes here's the first candy cane so I also have to open it so this will be fun okay I got it open easily hopefully I got all the stuff off nope there's some more plastic okay so here it is so I'm gonna taste it I'm thinking watermelon. So it's watermelon, tutti frutti, blueberry, fruit punch, lemon berry, and polar blast. I'm definitely thinking it's one of the um, jelly belly ones. I'm not just not sure if it's watermelon or tutti frutti. I think it's watermelon. Watermelon's the pink one, right? I think it is. So I'm gonna go with watermelon, guys. Okay, guys. So. On to the next candy cane. This one. So here's the candy cane number two. I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. <laughs> but I think all the plastic's off, so let's taste this. This is so hard. They, they all taste the same, like candy canes do in general. I'm thinking this is watermelon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, this one tastes more like watermelon, though, than the last one. I'm going to say this is watermelon. I said the last one was watermelon. But I think the last one was Trudy Fruity, because this tastes a lot more like watermelon. Yeah. I'm going to say this is watermelon, and the last one was Tutti Fruity, so... Yeah, guys, on to the third candy cane. Okay, so on to... Third candy cane, so I have these four right here. I'll pick this one. This is candy cane number three. So, by the way, um, on the past two, when I say um, this is the second candy cane, I'll put what it's called so you guys know if I get it right or wrong. And also, I have a um, point counter to keep track of my score while I'm editing. I'll add one. So, I've got to open this now. Open. There. They're, they're way easier to open from the bottom. That's a tip if you're trying to open a candy cane wrapper thing. I've just been opening from the bottom the whole time, so. Yeah. Oh, shoot, it broke. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll eat. I'll just put this piece down and eat this one. Oh. <laughs> Good. Almost dropped on the ground, too, so. What in the world? This is Polar Blast. This is either Polar Blast or Fruit Punch. Yeah, th I, I'm thinking this is Polar Blast. Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, guys, so we're halfway through, so on to the candy cane number four. So, turning my head if you think I'm cheating. I'll pick, I'll pick this one. So, here's candy cane number four. I don't break this one. <laughs> of 
course I broke it. <laughs> Just as I say that, it snaps in half. Okay guys, so this can can keeps on breaking, I don't know why it is, but oh my gosh. It keeps on breaking, so I'm just going to eat this part, so this is candy cane number four, what's left of it, so. I don't know why candy canes are so hard to open without breaking them. Now this one tastes like watermelon. Why do they all taste like a watermelon? So I think the last one was Polar Blast, and this one has a similar taste, so I'm going to go with Fruit Punch, the red one. So yeah, guys. Okay, guys, so we're down to the last two candy canes here, so I'm going to pick this one. Okay, I'm just going to open it this much because I don't want it to break, so here it is. Now this one tastes like watermelon. Well, I have not guessed. What have I not guessed? Blueberry and the lemon berry. This does not taste like berry. It tastes like watermelon. It does. This one tastes the most watermelon out of all of them, so... Gonna go with watermelon for like the third or fourth time now. Watermelon. This is watermelon. I hope the last one doesn't taste like watermelon. So yeah guys, on to the last candy cane. Okay guys, so on to the last candy cane here. Right here. So I, I have not guessed blueberry and I have not guessed lemon, so I definitely have some raw some of them wrong. Probably all of them wrong. No, not all of I probably don't have all of them wrong, but I probably have most of the candy canes wrong that I've guessed so far, so yeah. I I'm I'm aiming for at least two out two out of six. Two? Is that good a good is that a good goal? I think I think that's a good goal. Two. Okay, so last candy cane. I only broke two of them, which is good. Ugh, this one's weird. <laughs> This one's my least favorite. Doesn't really have a taste. My blank old fold keeps on slipping down, but I can't see from the top. At least it's not. At least I can't see from the bottom, but it's slipping down. <laughs> I know I already guessed this, but this tastes a lot like fruit punch, so I'm pretty sure the one I had, the one that I guess fruit punch is fruit punch, has had that taste. I think this is Polar Blast 2. It's not already guessed to that. Kind of guessed Polar Blast again. Has that taste. It doesn't taste like lemon. It does not taste like blueberry. I'm just going to go with that, guys. Okay, guys. So, I'm finished with the candy cane taste test. And um, I actually set the candy canes down in the order, in the order of where um, I uh, tasted them. Well, with my blindfold on. Like, I just placed it down. And um, now, now I have the order of the candy canes. So, um... The first one was Tutti Frutti. I, first, I think I had watermelon, but then I changed it to Tutti Frutti, so I guess I'll count that as a point. Um, the second one was the Lemon Berry, <laughs> and I think I guess, like, I don't, I don't know. I, might, I think I guess watermelon on that one, too. Yeah, and then, um, oh my. And then the third one, I it was Blueberry. I forget what I guessed on that one. Maybe, like... The, oh, yeah, I guess the, um, the Polar Blast one. And, um, yeah, that wasn't it. So, and then the last three I ended up getting right, which was Fruit Punch, then Watermelon, then Polar Blast. So, I got four out of six, which is a lot more than I thought I would get. So, I think I did pretty good on that challenge. So, now on to the next segment of this video. So, by the way, I don't think I forget to um, show you this, but I'm wearing a Christmas Story shirt. You'll shoot your eye out, um, the famous quote from that movie, just thought I would show you if you didn't notice already that I'm wearing that shirt, so yeah. Okay guys, so the next segment in this video is the Christmas tag, so I'm basically going to be answering some common Christmas related questions, and I have them on a paper because I'm recording with my phone, so I can't use my phone as notes, so yeah. First question is, favorite part about Christmas? Um. Probably, well, I, I like presents, but I also like spending time with my family because I don't see, um, like, my dad's side of my family a lot, not that often, maybe, like, four times a year, so. And also, um, yeah, just seeing family members that um, I don't really get to see in all the memories I have about Christmas. And, yeah, yeah, 
like I said, presents, giving, and getting. So, yeah, don't really have a favorite part. I just have a few favorite things about it. So, yeah, the next question is, favorite thing to do in the snow? Definitely sledding, because I haven't gotten to sled in, like, two years, because last year it hardly snowed at all. But the year before that, we went sledding, and it was a lot of fun, and years passed. Favorite gift I've gotten? Um, well, it's a tie between two things I got last year. I got a new phone. Um, I got an SE. It released last year, sometime last year. It was pretty new, and I really like it. I still have that phone. Um, and also a new laptop I got last year because I really n needed a new one because my previous one before that was just, like, breaking down. It was just so slow because I'd had it forever, so... Yeah, I'm glad I got those two things. Favorite gift I've gave? Well, it's not really one in particular. I just like giving gifts in general every year. And um, the last question is my favorite Christmas food. Well, just pies. I, I just love pies. Just pies in general. Um, blueberry, apple, cherry, pumpkin, pizza. <laughs> pizza is technically a pie. And just, yeah, I, and pecan, and peach, and key lime, and lemon. The list goes on. I just, I just love pie in general. So, guys, this next segment's going to be a fun one. So, um, you know, um, the movie Buddy the Elf, how Elf um, has the spaghetti and it pours maple syrup all over it. Well, I'm kind of doing that myself. I'm going to taste it right now. So, I have some ramen here that I made without the sauce packet and stuff because I don't have spaghetti. This is the closest thing to spaghetti that I could make and I didn't put the sauce in and I, yeah, it's right there. So um, now I have some syrup here. This is Butterworth. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna add it to it and I'm gonna taste it. Instead of, this is a replacement for the sauce. So yeah, I'm just gonna dump ton of syrup on here. Here, I'll show you. I'm just gonna dump a ton of syrup on it. I'm not adding like marshmallows and M&Ms and pop tarts and all that stuff because I don't really have that. I'm just adding this, so. Oh my. Oh my gosh. This is a mess. Put the syrup over here. Oh dear. Look at this, guys. I still have to stir it, but, oh. Oh, dear. Look at that. Look at this. Look, there's syrup on it. Oh, my. Okay, guys, let's taste it. The spaghetti maple syrup elf's recipe, so. Oh, my. I don't want to. I don't want to. I mean, I love maple syrup, so. And um, a lot of people have tried this before, they said it's gross, but I actually think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Spaghetti maple syrup, or ramen noodles maple syrup. So I definitely recommend this. I wouldn't recommend adding the marshmallows, M&Ms, Pop-Tarts, and all that stuff, because that might make it gross, but just stick with um, just the spaghetti maple syrup, because that is pretty, pretty good. So yeah, guys, the last, I'm going to finish this along with, the, along with the candy canes from earlier. So the last segment of this video is going to be a Elf movie review. So, the movie Elf. Oh, Will Ferrell. He was the perfect person to play Elf because he did a really good job um, with the role. And I just love the whole idea of the movie of him trying to find his long lost dad because he thought he was, he was raised by elves, but he thought he was an elf the whole time. And um, his dad realized that, um, his dad at the end of the movie realized um, that he, he accepted his son in that he was his true son and they celebrated Christmas together and they just added there was just so many funny moments in this movie. Oh, it, it was just it was just a really, really good movie. I love Elf so much. It's probably my favorite movie of all time. It's so funny. 
I watch it at least five times every single Christmas, and that I would definitely recommend watching it. So yeah, guys, um, I'm I'm definitely giving this a, um, a five out of five because this movie's really good. So yeah, guys, it's basically gonna be it for this huge Christmas special. Hope you enjoyed this long video of me doing Christmas stuff and Merry Christmas, because um, this will be my this will be my um, last video before Christmas. I will make one maybe actually on Christmas or the day after. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time. Bye.